Thank you. And tonight, the aftermath of some July 4th fireworks have left six Columbia people displaced. Between the hours of 8 p.m. and 5 in the morning, the Columbia Richland Fire Department says they responded to 45 fire related calls. Of those 45, four were related to fireworks, including one that destroyed a home in North Columbia. Cassidy Byer has the story. That's material stuff and it can be replaced, but you know, even still, you know, that's my house. And so. Tiffany Taylor was getting ready for bed after wrapping up her 4th of July festivities with her family when a neighbor came to her door. He was like, y you know, the house next door is on fire. And so I made just I just grabbed um, the kids and uh, my mom and we just ran outside. The fire started from what appeared to be a firework landing on a property next door on Fernview Drive. Around 12.15 a.m. near the garage of Taylor's neighbor, quickly consuming her neighbor's home and then spreading to hers. Like when we left, um, we uh, left barefooted so we didn't have any shoes. Um, because of the chemicals they used to put out the fire, we couldn't take anything that's open. Like if it wasn't concealed, like in a drawer or something, um, we couldn't take anything. Unfortunately, Taylor and her neighbors weren't the only ones facing a fire-related emergency during the holiday. In total, the Columbia Richland Fire Department responded to nearly 70 calls during the holiday, 45 of which were fire-related, according to Columbia Fire Chief Aubrey Jenkins. We respond to a roughly about 68 calls, calls for services, which included a couple of house fires, apartment fires, um, also some woods fires, brush fires, grass fires, and some medical calls as well. So we were, we were pretty busy during that, during that time. But Chief Jenkins wasn't surprised by the fire department's high demand. As a matter of fact, I, I almost expected us to run more calls. So I think one good thing is we got safety messages out in time but there's still a lot of calls to be running, um, you know, on, on the 4th of July. And being in a drought didn't help the cause. I mean, everything is basically, you know, dried out and, and, and fires can't start easily. Um, and it could be not only from fireworks, but also from, I'm quite sure people still going to be doing grilling, cooking out, doing stuff like that. So just, just be conscious of, of what you're doing, in particular when you're dealing with flames and fire. As for Taylor, she's just glad everyone is safe and thanks her neighbors for checking in. The community came over, just even Mr. Lowry, you know, because he didn't have to come and get me. You know, he didn't have to come and knock on the door, and he did. Cassidy Byer, News 19, WLTX. Well, we're told the damage to the homes totals more than $200,000. The home that was destroyed by the firework. Of course, the American Red Cross has stepped in to aid those families.